Headshot Cam. Oh, sad. Welcome to Valkyria Chronicles, the fanfiction about World War II. Yes, only the names oh. have been changed to protect the people. Oh, look at that beautiful meal. I hope nothing bad happens to it. I know, all that bread that will not be made. <laughs> right, so I would like to comment a bit on the aesthetics of the game, because I do really enjoy how these cutscenes are presented. It's like a cross between... Uh, history book photographs, old-timey photographs, and colored illustrations from adventure books. It's an interesting blend that gives this game a unique aesthetic. I really like this aesthetic. It's yes. yeah, The canvas-looking style really gives yes. it personality. I still don't think it fits with the horror of war, but... <laughs> I think you know, maybe that's supposed to be the point. Mmm, <laughs> nah, 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 I don't think so. I mean, <laughs> again, it's like an illustration in a book, yeah. which it makes sense because this story is supposed to be told in the form of somebody reading a book. Well, the Empire's got to be close by. Let's hit the road by sundown. It's too colorful to depict the death and the misery and the tragedy of war <laughs> you know yeah i get you but still you're still calling me that martha i'm 22 years old it makes me feel serene more than it makes me feel um agitated that war is coming i should know i've already had four of them so i had to actually read up who the hell martha was supposed to be because the game doesn't really explain it to you, you have to go and read it in the files. Uh, in one of the tabs, yeah. made available at some point, alpha way through this. But Martha is supposed to be uh, their nanny, as in uh, Welkin and uh, Isari's nanny. Hmm. But the game doesn't really tell you <laughs> otherwise. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not like Fancy 13 bad for that, but still. No, 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 not anywhere near. Make no mistake. Arrested and shot at? <laughs> You've had a busy day of it. You had a busy day being arrested and shot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, you rapscallions. Oh, boys will be boys. <laughs> Shooting each other's eyes yes. out. <laughs> Throwing fish. Flirting with it. Alicia did everything, that's all. <laughs> Boom! Friend zoned. Well, more like hero zoned. <laughs> I actually like that line a lot. Yes, I'm not his girlfriend. I'm just his hero. Sparkle, sparkle, poses, poses. Well, it's better than what she was like in the anime. Let's be, tell you. Well, she does become very anime girl later on. Uh, she was much worse in the anime, I'll give you that. You know, to my experience, anime adaptations of video games are rarely any good. Yeah. Believe me, I, I am reviewed a lot of them. Looking at you, corpse party OVA. The general's tank was his creation. <laughs> Luckily, I never watched that. <laughs> it's really bad. Laughable, even. 
Oh gosh. <laughs> right, so they actually went into the trouble of establishing that Isara is adopted, she is a dark sen, which will be important later. They never explain who Martha is still, so when I saw the picture of both Welkin's father with uh, Isara's father, I thought they were a couple. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not <laughs> Which red. I thought it would be cool, because this game can be um, deceptively progressive, especially when you get to choose your soldiers later on to war with. So to speak, and some of those are females who are into women, and yeah. vice versa. Yeah, and women into I mean, men into men. <laughs> I would say yes. women into men. <laughs> yes, also that. Wow, look at this. Rule's really becoming a ghost town. Directed by John Wu. <laughs> it's because the damn yes. doves, isn't it? <laughs> Here's a bit of subtle foreshadowing. Okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. So Welkin, I'm curious. Are you gonna join the army like Wait for it. This is taking longer than I thought. What I'd really like to do is be a teacher. Ah, there it is! The doves are flying away because they sense the danger! <gasps> Clever! Yes. No, seriously, this is actually seriously one of the more clever visual images uh, in the game, unfortunately. <laughs> no, I don't know what you mean, Welkin! <laughs> I want to give back all the fish I've stolen from that river. <laughs> That's deep, man. No, no, Alicia, it's not that deep. It's, mm. it's it's called simplicities of life. Oh no, I fought too hard and my brain exploded. <laughs> what was that? I know what it is. That's... It's the sound of war. The sound of mills attacking the people. No way, that's for airplanes usually. The mill! The mill. Oh, oh, bread! Was such a beautiful mill! The, the, the Imperials are attacking! And they took all the bread! Get all the town watch together now. We shall avenge our breads! Our fallen bread comrades yes. must be avenged! Yes, let's go out there and avenge our brethren! Alright, time <laughs> to kill some Nazis! <laughs> Alright! I can't believe I got away with that pun. <laughs> I did not even hear you, so... <laughs> Bro! Yes, we have time to explain the mission. Right, so you're there, the enemy is there, go kill it. Yes, there's that, there's that. Go out there and shoot them in the head. Done, Zs. This is the part of the game in which you really do everything with just one unit because it is more okay. fast yeah. that way. Yeah, it pretty much is once you realize that in the early yes. goings. Really, this game goes against all of my veteran strategy RPG instincts. I played all of the Disgaea games and those were very heavy on minutia level of strategy. But in this game, I have to forget everything I thought I knew and relearn anew, basically playing by the game's rules. Yeah. Because if you don't learn to play by the game's rules, oh boy, you're going to have a hard time with this game. Yeah. <laughs> it is pretty challenging. 
and you have to know how to play it. Eventually, you learn how to. But if you start off in the early goings, like so... Then again, then you are faced with the more difficult missions in which you have to strategize in the old-fashioned way, but you still have to be fast because you want the best possible score and the best possible experience bonus. And so on and so forth. And it was just teaching you how to use grenades to get rid of enemies from behind cover. Yes. Which becomes useful in certain cases. Yes, but then again, once I get the uh, rifle to end all rifles, that gun straight up ignores covers. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I always aim at the head. You'd be silly if you didn't aim for the head. Headshot masters. Right then. Okay, well, kid, raise it just a little bit. Uh, right between the eyes. It sure was nice of him to just stand there awkwardly. This game is a bit weird with the um, response, so to speak, by the enemies, because if you don't do anything and you stand in front of an enemy, they will shoot you. <laughs> but if you deselect your uh, current unit, then they will stop. They will also stop once you take aim. It's weird, to be honest. It is, it is kind of funny, that, but, you know, that's how the system works in this game. I mean, sure, it's a great system once you get to know it, but nonetheless, it's a bit weird at first. <laughs> My turn, okay? Who wants to play as you, Town Watchman? <laughs> All right, Alicia is in town, bitches. Prepare to be obliterated. <laughs> Girl power! I will say that Alicia does become quite a beast later on in the game. Yeah, look at me. I ran all the way to the freaking leader of this bunch, and I'm going to obliterate him with a grenade. And that's <laughs> the mission. That is literally how you win this mission. Risk-taking rewards. Right, let's see, let's see you grenade that son of a... <laughs> Take that, you imp bastard! For Galia! Wait, why are they just, just, just sat here? <laughs> you know... This Asterix adaptation has taken a dark turn. <laughs> I did not expect to see grenades in the, you know. Yeah, I didn't expect in the to see. I didn't, Fifty before Christ. <laughs> I, I didn't expect to see uh, Obelix, you know, a female version of Obelix just chuck a grenade. <laughs> tank! Holy crud, they got tanks! We can't fight that! Tank for the memories! Eh? No? I was okay. just... I, I didn't hear you then. Huh? I, said, I just said I didn't hear you, just like you didn't hear mine earlier. I said, thank for the memories. Yeah, I didn't quite hear that, so... Okay. <laughs> no, no, that's fine, that's fine. It's not like it was a great pun that I was preparing for, you know, to say it <laughs> since the beginning of this. RUN AWAY no, FROM no, THE no. TANK! Right, so... I'm not actually controlling the character right now. The character is reacting on her own to the enemy attacking. The town watchman dies! Oh no, he's still alive. He survived a mortar exploding on his face. That guy deserves a trophy. <laughs> now, uh, the thing about tanks in this universe, they have... A pretty obvious weak spot right behind them, which is that glowing giant generator. Yeah, that glows blue ragnite. 
So if you can somehow get behind a tank, you can literally one-shot it to oblivion. And sometimes that's half the challenge when you're facing tanks. Yeah, just trying to get the good vantage point to get rid of them. <laughs> yes. Either with a tank or a lancer, which are more... Uh... Yeah, you know, I just use scouts, really. <laughs> <laughs> I go behind the tank, if I can, that is, and I just shoot to the generators up until it explodes. <laughs> they are that vulnerable. Yes, they are. But it's more recommended to just take them out in one shot it with is. a lance. Yes, typically it is, unless you have the rifle to end all rifles. <laughs> yes. That rifle is a beast, I love it. Who doesn't so anyway, love a rifle? So anyway, once again, I am ignoring all the enemies and I'm just getting there. Oh no! Oh no, my movement has run out. Whatever shall I do? Oh, I know! I will reselect myself and win. <laughs> and only Wilkin has to go there, apparently. No one else. Yes. Only him. Looks like we shook him up. Uh, Alicia? Alicia, where are you? Okay, I'll head back to my house and grab Isara and Martha, then come back. Be careful out there, Welkin. I'm going to save Martha! <laughs> so the new Superman vs. Batman movie will have Welkin just come in and go, Help me save Martha! <laughs> what did you say your name was? <laughs> So out of shape, must stop. Must stealing fish. Must draw new legs. Martha. What's her problem? She pregnant or just? Well, that's just rude. I know, right? Okay, it's one thing to invade our country, but insulting our pregnant women... See what she's wearing? Take a good that's too far, man. Hey look, she's a dachshund, just because oh, she's wearing look. a shawl! <laughs> yes, she's one of those Jews, I mean dachshunds! Totally not the same thing, totally not Jewish, totally not a metaphor for the Jewish and the Holocaust. Mm hmm And this is where Isara looks cool, apparently. <laughs> I will thank you to watch your tongue in this house. You have to leave, now. That's a big gun for such a little... Oh yeah? That's a big gun for such a small penis? <laughs> yeah, right back at ya. Isara! Huh? Hold it right there! Hold it right there, buster! You're under arrest for... Taking uh, a... <laughs> this destruction of property. <laughs> You shot me in the back! What kind of... Dachshund does that? Well, what so, kind of person does that? As you can see, I had, at this point, high hopes for Isara. Before she seemingly gave away all of her personality or potential personality to be just like, Hey, I'm going to work towards my brother's dream because I have no agency of my own. <laughs> also, I'm going to teach a racist not to be racist. Eh. Well, can't have her thing. It's a shame her character was just relegated to be the tank mistress, essentially. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of cool because she's the one driving the tank the whole time. Yeah. I mean, when you get down to it, all Welkin is doing is imparting orders from inside it, and then nothing, because she's the one who mans the tank. She's the one who does all the work. Dad's tank! Yes, you have a 
tank just casually parked inside your garage. You know how it is. Yes, and just keep it for emergencies, apparently. <laughs> yeah, and it worked great, too. So it's just been parked here in the barn? I wanted to make sure it would still operate, you know, in case of emergencies. I enrolled in a maintenance class. Oh, she took one class in engineering, suddenly she's a tank master. Maybe that one class, she basically speedrun the entire class year of tanking. <laughs> this game tanks. <laughs> hey yo! What's next? A coffee maker's in there? <laughs> No, even you know, better, it makes bread! <laughs> the armored vehicle course, didn't you? Yeah. Back in high school, once. You know, somebody better not give birth inside that tank anytime soon, I'm just uh, saying. <laughs> just leave the driving to me, okay? It will be a nightmare to clean afterwards. Uh, yeah. Superman is coming! <laughs> Worry not, Gallians! Superman will yeah. save you! <laughs> yeah, I can see it now. Welkin just takes off his jacket and suddenly a tank comes out. <laughs> Ready for deployment! And our weak spot will make a nice cozy bed. <laughs> yes, cats to Alicia, she's dodging bullets like Neo in the Matrix. <laughs> that would be so cool. <laughs> no. 